from one of Disney's amazing value resorts. Today, I'm going to take you on a resort tour of the Pop Century Resort. And we're going to talk about the theming, the recreation, transportation, food, dining. And I'm going to let you know why this may be the perfect resort for your family vacation. My name is Lori Gallagher. I'm an independent travel agent with Dream Departures Travel. Come along with me as we take a resort tour here at Disney's Pop Century Resort. We start here at the front and you can see the different decades. Here they're large from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. And just to the left of your resort check-in area is going to be the bus transportation. Now this bus transportation is perfect um, for if you are going to Disney's Magic Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Disney Springs. Um, if you want to go to Hollywood and Epcot, uh, I would suggest the Skyliner, which is at the other end of the resort, and we'll be looking at that later. When you first arrive at Disney's Pop Century Resort, this is where you will be dropped off if you're using the Mirrors Connect transportation or other transportation. We have Bell Services. Um, this is a great, if you want to go into the parks prior to your room being ready, you can drop your luggage off here and then head straight to the parks if you have an early flight. Okay, now we're gonna head into the lobby where check-in is. Um, so there's two options. Um, on the My Disney Experience app, you can mobile check in, or if you come into the lobby, you can do um, check in this way. Also, if you have any issues, um, maybe uh, your room location, um, something's not linked correctly in your My Disney Experience app, they can help you here. Have a waiting area, and there's some fun children's. You have a little hopscotch board here. Space Invaders. And the, really some really cute artwork in here. And then for mom and dad, there's a couple of massage recliners. And then of course, yay, Disney cartoons. Here in the Pop Century Lobby, the walls are themed to the decades. And if you look up at the very top, you can see the years. Um, along here and then down below there's shadow boxes with very interesting artifacts by decades and years um, here's one of the original Mouseketeers yay <laughs> at the end of the lobby is the everything pop shop and dining this is where you can get your merchandise and souvenirs um, and then also the uh, Quick service dining is in here. So we're gonna go in here real quick. Civic merchandise, which is always fun to collect. Some mugs and thermoses. And then some Disney. And then over here we have some bottled waters, coats. You got your um, books and pens. Um, oh, here's some cute lanyards. I like those. I might have to get one of those. Okay decals but we got a little bit of food selection over here some chips and if you wanted to have a few things in your room and then the candy section back here and home goods and of course a favorite collectible mugs some patriotic here hoodies, there's some raincoats over there, of course the spirit jerseys, and then a new turning red merchandise. Need to watch that, my niece told me. Of course the lounge fly backpacks, everybody loves those. And you've got some ears over here, Disney ears. Keychains, and then if mom and dad want to have a nightcap, they do carry a selection of frosty beverages in here. Mm -hmm. 
This is the mobile order pickup here. And I highly suggest mobile order pickup. It's so, so easy. You order on your app, on your My Disney Experience app, and then you just let them know when you're ready to come get your food and they have it out waiting for you. But if you want, you can come through um, and look at the various choices. And they, they have these pods where you can get stuff. This is um, burgers um, and they've got some kids meals here. And then of course there's the quick service back here where you can pick up fresh baked goods. Always love their fresh baked goods. Um, bottled water sodas. Um, they have some adult beverages here, beers and wines, champagne, milk and yogurts for the kids. And then they have some pre-made here. You got um, a turkey focaccia that looks really good. So you got a wide selection. Then over here we have some, um, you have cereals and then down here you have some bottled water if you need that for your baby or just want bottled water in the room. Um, they've got chicken parmesan, pasta with meatballs, um, some pepperoni pizza. That's a favorite with kids. Um, turkey dinner, pot roast, salmon, and um, chili in a bread bowl. And then you can come over here and get your sodas, drinks, um, condiments and sides over here. Okay, once you leave everything pop and dining, right across the way is the Fast Forward Arcade. And this is a great place for the kids to get some energy out, have some fun. Welcome to the 50s section. This section is uh, amazing. Um, some of the icons in this section are Lady and the Tramp, and of course, bowling pins. All right, let's go and check out this section of the resort. So as we walk down this way, you can see there's a some maintenance building here, but it's shaped like a doghouse. Because on either side of this building, are the huge icons of Lady and the Tramp. Also in this area is the bowling pin pool. Um, it's one of the secondary pools here at Pop Century. But if we look right over here, there is Tramp. And sitting directly across from him on the other side, we will see lady. Of course you can see the sock hop theming and then we have the bowling pool. Um, the other thing about this pool is there's lots of uh, you have loungers with shade umbrellas or if you prefer to be out in the sun there's um, ones. There's also in this area there is a laundry mat uh, over in that building right there. And uh, in that area is also the bathroom. So you have a little bit of everything for your convenience here. So these three main buildings make up the 50s section. Hey guys, welcome to the 60s section. In this section we have uh, Mowgli and Baloo, we have Play-Doh, and we have the Dunkin' Yo-Yo. Um, this section is the closest to both the Disney Skyliner and to um, the classic hall, which contains the shopping and dining um, and check-in. And for that reason, these buildings are considered preferred. So you have preferred rooms and you have preferred full view rooms. All right, let's go take a look. Another amazing perk of staying in the 60s section is the close proximity to the main pool. The Hippy Dippy Pool has flower-shaped water jets and activities throughout the day for all members of the family. Located just behind the Hippy Dippy Pool is a zero-entry kiddie pool with splash fountains. Need to cool off? Head to the Petals Pool Bar where you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and kids can cool off with a smoothie.
Hey guys, welcome to the 70s section. Uh, this is a great section. Um, it's got some great icons here. Um, as you can see behind me, there are there's Mickey phone. We have a big wheel. Um, and of course we have mood rings. Um, this building, these buildings have both standard rooms and preferred rooms. All right, let's go take a look. Okay guys, this is one of my favorite things about the Pop Century Resort, are all the little nooks and crannies where you'll find some amazing things to do. Right here behind me is the Twister Game. So you've got the dial back here, and then down here, you have your Twister board. Um, so your family can come over here, play a game. Okay, so maybe you're thinking the Pop Century Resort is perfect for me, but I'm just not sure which room to pick what category, um, should I do a preferred room or is a standard room gonna work for my family? Those are the questions that I'll help you answer when you set up your dream vacation planning schedule. Okay guys, we are currently over by the 70s building and you can see here we have playground open from uh, dawn until dusk. Um, there is tons of seating for parents out here, some in the sun, some in the shade, and lots of fun things for the kids to do. There's a slide, some climbing surfaces. Um, we have a bar over here to hang from, and then some interesting, I guess you go across that like a, I don't know. And then there's a smaller slide over here. But anyways, this is a great place for you to bring the kids if um, you, know, you have a few minutes between going back to the park and they just want to get some energy out. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the 80s and 90s section of the Pop Century Resort. In this section, we have some great icons. We have Roger Rabbit, we have a Walkman, and a computer, but it's a very 1980s, 1990s computer, back when those of us remember what a modem was and you had to actually use your phone. And we also have the computer pull back here. Um, so let's go take a look at this part of the resort. And um, once again, this, uh, this area of the resort has standard rooms. You'll find both queen beds and king bed rooms here. And for more information on that, or to find the perfect room at this resort for your family, you can go to www.vacationsbylori.com and schedule your dream vacation planning session. All right, let's go take a look. So this is the computer pool. As you can see, you got a big keyboard down here. And then of course over here we have Roger Rabbit. Some break dancing, that was a big thing in the 80s. We got Pac-Man icons, love that game. Rollerblades, and down there the computer. Let's go take a closer look. At each pool area you'll find uh, towels and then of course near that there'll be a towel return so you don't have to bring your own towels. Here we have lots of um, loungers, there's some tables with umbrellas, we have a ping pong table and then over here we have life jackets for the younger children um, and it looks like there might be some adult sizes too. Here's the very 1990s computer that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Love how they have the Disney icons on there. Okay guys, on the opposite end of Disney's Pop Century from the bus transportation is the Disney Skyliner. Now from here, you will go to a transfer station. And from the transfer station, you can either go to Hollywood Studios, the Riviera Resort, or Epcot. Um, let's go take a look at this. On the back side of Disney's Pop Century Resort is a very wide walking or jogging path. Um, you can use this to get your steps in every day. And then also, um, if you take some time to go around Pop Century and follow the walkways, you will see uh, various facts from the years. 
such as this one here from 1966 and the Clean Water Restoration Act. But um, lots, of, lots of interesting facts. Also, Star Trek made its debut that year, so there you go. Disney's Pop Century Resort is a budget-friendly resort that offers larger-than-life theming, fun recreation, and access to both the Disney Skyliner and the bus system. The Disney Skyliner will whisk you away to both Hollywood Studios and Epcot. If you are interested in learning more about this resort, go to scheduleyourdream.com to book your complimentary dream vacation planning session at a time that is convenient for you, or visit my website at vacationsbylori.com. Thank you for coming along on our resort tour today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content coming up. Until next time, may your days be filled with magical moments and cherished memories. See you next time.